Hi everyone, it's Giselle here with a message and some guidance for us to really go back and become whole and complete within ourselves again. And a lot of the readings I've been guided to do lately and the messages that I've been guided to share are to really to take ourselves back to that place where we were right before we came into contact with our beloved because I know that for me and for a lot of people that I read for that that was a time when certainly for me I felt fearless I felt independent I felt happy within myself prepared for great things and ready to embrace love because I knew that it was on my path. I didn't know when, how or where, but I knew that it was there. And I remember feeling that for quite a few weeks. And yeah, within a matter of weeks from me feeling that inner knowing that inner confidence, I had met my beloved. And what I'm trying to convey now is that it is a vital time for us to learn all the lessons that come up because the energies have been very heavy. The full moon has been quite challenging. Certainly within me, stirring up a lot of insecurities that I thought I'd healed even insecurities that go as far back as childhood. And this is a time I feel it could well be the final push. Again, <laughs> with my analogies, honestly, this is insane. But when I said the final push, I just imagined someone pregnant who was just like, come on, one more push and the baby will be here. <laughs> I can't help it. This is crazy. Ah, anyway, <laughs> yes. So the final push before we are ready to reunite in love. But we must realize that two broken people do not make a whole. And that it is vitally important now that we complete ourselves. And I feel that um, quite an easy way to do this is to imagine you and your beloved as babies because if you do that and if you see them in that innocent, pure, wonderful, sweet energy, you are not going to be resentful towards them. You are going to readily forgive and Clear them of any wrongdoing that you thought was once uh, done on to you. And if you also see yourself as a baby, you will be able to clear any of your insecurities. Because as a baby, you are beautiful. You are entitled, but in a good way, because you know... That as a baby, you deserve love. And that everyone who looks at you will see how beautiful you are. Anyone that looks at you will know how precious you are. And how innocent and pure and wonderful you are. And anyone that comes in contact with you will just be in love with your beautiful energy and you will warm their hearts and you will bring out their compassion as a baby you know that you deserve to be fed you deserve to be looked after and you deserve to be protected to be cared for and cherished to be adored and to be 
have anyone who who um, comes in contact with you to be grateful to have you there. And that is the place to be, to just clear yourself of all doubt and fear and conditioning that's happened since. Because as a baby, you're not going to think, oh, these people are judging me and may say that I'm ugly or whatever. No, as a baby, you are beautiful. You are precious. You are wonderful. And you deserve all of these things. And as you begin to feel into that energy and really become that again within yourself, you will rid yourself of all of these doubts because you know that as a baby, the doubts that you developed over time make no sense whatsoever. And there is no need to have them there because as a baby, you don't doubt yourself. You are confident. You know that you are lovable. You know that you are beautiful. You know that you're going to get fed and taken care of and sheltered and shielded from any negativity because you are a beautiful baby. And as a baby, your beloved can do no wrong. You can instantly forgive them and love them unconditionally because as a baby they only love and want to love and be loved and if you're able to incorporate this in your meditations and truly see yourself and your beloved from that viewpoint, then you will be able to shift out of any doubt and negativity and fear so much more easily. You will break the resistance that you're feeling. Because as adults, it's easy to judge each other. It's easy to say, well, you're a grown man, for God's sake, you know, <laughs> you should know better. But as babies, you're not going to say that. You're not going to say, you should know what you're doing is wrong. And we have to have that level of compassion. That level of unconditional love for ourselves and our beloveds, as we do, if they were babies. And um, we may have to just do this on a regular basis. You know, it's kind of like reparenting yourselves, re-establishing that unconditional love that maybe you've been missing in your life, reprogramming and undoing all of the hate and pain that you may have suffered as a child or as a teenager or even as an adult. Throughout life you may have encountered a lot of bullying, of rejection, of mistreatment, of perhaps people cheating on you or treating you unfairly, maybe being abusive to you. Take yourself back to being a baby when you were so, so adorable and lovable that that stuff just couldn't even happen before anything like that even took place within your energy. Imagine you holding yourself in your arms now and just giving yourselves that love that you need and through that you will begin to heal your heart and break down and melt away all of the pain and all of the doubts and all of the fears. Because two holes coming together 
is just unbreakable. Um, yeah, unstoppable. Unlike two broken people. As two whole and complete people, nothing will stand in your way. And just remember that by working on yourself and loving your beloved unconditionally and compassionately as if they were a baby, what you seek is seeking you. They will be doing exactly the same. Whether you see it with your physical eyes or not, let your heart guide you. I hope that this message has helped. I certainly feel a lot lighter and a lot happier just looking at this cute picture. How sweet. And also, this is um, the infinity sign, isn't it? These two halos meeting together and how cute. So, if you would like to connect with me, then please do. I have all my links in the description. Thank you all so much for your support, for your kindness, for your love, and for watching me. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.